what do we have here? We got a package that someone already tried to open a little bit. Not quite enough to get the box out, but you can tell it's a box. And it's a, you know, a knife-shaped box, I hope. I don't really know. I don't know what it is. Which one of these should we use to open it? Which one of these jade beauties? I think I'm going... This guy. Ah, boy, I flubbed the front flip, you know? That's terrible. I love Kubi. Even though I suck at front flipping. Uh, I'd probably be better at if this stupid um, thumb stud wasn't in the way. But, then again, the thumb stud makes it thumb flick flickable, so... I like the thumb stud. Alright, let's get this guy open. What do we have here? Shit. I don't actually know. Okay, nothing on the box. Okay, that probably means cheap Chinese, like delicious food, cheap Chinese. What do we got? Oh, wow, I ordered this one a while back. It's heavy. You know what? Um, this is supposed to be titanium, but I don't think it is. Wow, light detent. I think this is a fake Microtech, if I remember right. Got it for real cheap, like 20 bucks or something. And it feels like 20 bucks, because <laughs> it's heavy as shit, it's steel. Uh, I'm pretty sure those are steel uh, handles. They said titanium in the ad. They were big fat liars. But man, I can see why people like the uh, why people like the shape and just this knife in general. It's got a real nice profile, and I kind of like the pocket clip too. Even though it's a little on the big side. So, this is your like fake Ethan Grove version of the Microtech. Damn it, I don't remember the name. I'll put it right up here. Um, but, okay, yeah, the, the flipping is very anemic because the detent is too weak. Well, I wonder if I could, I could strengthen it some by making the um, lock bar a little stronger. The reverse flick's not bad. Thumb flick's okay, a little slow. Yeah, it's just slow because that detent's so weak. What do we got here? It comes with a little tool. Okay. Doesn't come with a tool for the big one. Comes with a tool for the uh, small. Wow, there's a leaf blower outside just going crazy. Definitely a cool looking knife. Yeah, it might end up being a giveaway because, man, that detent, I don't know if I can fix it. And it's just so light. Nice backspacer. Very cool. I imagine this is all just kind of ripped off directly from that Microtech knife. It's got this, you know, cutout area there so that your finger can sink further down in to make the uh, flipper go faster. The flipper's too low. It needed to be a little higher in, you know, in comparison with this line of the uh, center of the pivot. Then you get more leverage on it. Hmm. Interesting. Air goes, not bad. A little hot right in here. Pretty good overall, nice shape. Yeah, I don't know, it's sad that it's uh, not titanium like it was supposed to be. That's very disappointing. Very cool little triangle shaped uh, pivot head so it doesn't uh, spin on you. How is the play? No play. Let's see, is it over tightened? It might be a tad over tightened. I wonder if we can. Loosen it up a little bit by hand. Hmm. If it doesn't have a tool uh, for the big one, I don't know how I would do it. Hmm. I need some kind of three-way menage a trois uh, little sandwich to loosen it up. But man, it doesn't want to loosen by hand. Nope, nope, nope. Damn, nope. I don't think it's going to. Well, if you get a little wrist, it pops on out there. Guess what I can say is, if you can afford the seven or eight hundred dollars or whatever the real one is, uh, it's probably a really cool knife. Uh, instead of being uh, 
a really heavy knife like this one is. I think this sucker's probably close to six ounces, seven ounces, something like that. The real one's probably like, you know, three or four, maybe four and a half. Very cool look, though. You know what? That is literally what you get for buying a clone. You get a piece of shit. That's what you get, pry bar knives. Shouldn't be buying freaking clones, man. Actually, I didn't know it was a clone until after I bought it, so I can take a little bit of, like, um pride in the fact that I wasn't intentionally buying the clone when I bought it. But, you know, I didn't, like, cancel the sale or anything. I saw a couple days later, uh, I was on, like, one of the Facebook pages, and I was like, oh, that's that knife I just bought, except it's, like, really expensive. Oh. So, figured it out. I had never really seen this. I mean, I'd probably seen it before, but I didn't recognize it. It's kind of out of my league normally, you know, so. I thought it was just one of those Ethan Grow funky, fancy, uh, shaped you know stuff that they make up okay yeah boy if it had a little bit stronger detent let's see what if i hold the lock bar while i flip it nope that doesn't help at all okay it's a little better actually okay so i'm holding the lock bar right there just right up against it that's not bad okay so you know the bad part is i can't even use it for screws because they're not Torx bits, so they're weird-ass screws that I can't really use. What if I could drill some holes right where those detents are? Light, they're not detents, whatever those little cutouts are, down right through there to lighten it up some. Because, man, this sucker's heavy. It needs more uh, lock access, too. It has a little spot cut out, but it's not enough. It's like uh, your finger just want to ride, ride across that and not catch on it. Yeah, that's a fun knife anyway. Well, there you go. It's your Ethan Grow, I think, unlabeled uh, copy uh, knockoff of a very expensive uh, Microtech blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I don't really recommend it. Action's kind of meh. The blade is pretty well done, though. I like the, uh, let me clean it off. The satin grind lines are pretty well done. Look at that. That's pretty, huh? And then you got this uh, tumbled finish here. Yeah, the blade is neat. Wouldn't mind seeing the blade on something else. I wonder if I have anything else I could put this blade on. Because I really like the blade. It's probably supposed to be D2 or something, but who the hell knows what it is. It could be just total bullshit, crap, steel. Probably is. Ah, you get what you pay for, buyer beware, all that shit. Don't buy clones. Have a nice day.